whole mess has Eastern Virginia Medical School digging deep into the past. Now, the yearbook photo that started this scandal with the governor goes much further. And tonight, we are learning what EVMS is doing to not only figure out what happened in the past, but what they're doing to make sure the atmosphere at the school is better going forward. Penny, your side's Kayla Gaskins has been following this part of the story for us tonight. Kayla? Yeah, Tom and Anita, today we heard from the president of EVMS at a news conference. Here's what he had to say. Don't understand history or don't respect it, you're, you're destined to repeat it. And we never want to repeat anything like this again. This is what Dr. Holman and EVMS officials want to make sure is never repeated. As you know, the past EVMS yearbooks have contained shockingly abhorrent pictures that are antithetical to the values and principles of her professions. Dr. Holman called this a learning opportunity that will make the school stronger. First, EVMS officials created a diverse community advisory board led by Gilbert Bland, the CEO of the Urban League of Hampton Roads. The board will look into the current climate on campus. We want this to be more than just the review of what happened 30 years ago. We want to know what's happening today and what we can do to make things better. The board will also work together with an external legal team hired to investigate the yearbook's publishing process and what, if any, administrative oversight existed. The board will work together with an external legal team hired to investigate the yearbook's publishing process and what, if any, administrative oversight existed. EVMS last published a yearbook in 2013. Today, Dr. Holman said that was his decision and he explained why. In early 2014, Mr. Gametta, the Vice President of Diversity and Inclusion, alerted Dr. Holman to concerns about content like this. Multiple students posing for their 2013 yearbook photos in Confederate uniforms. I was appalled by the pictures and directed our Vice President of Diversity and our Vice Dean of Academic Affairs that there would be no more yearbooks at EVMS. Dr. Holman said he has not heard from the governor himself or his staff, although the staff has come by the school to check out the yearbooks in the library and get a better look. Reporting live at EVMS, I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.